we still saw a good amount of 2-0s. Oh, yeah. To a point where it didn't really seem like, you know, if there was a best of five, there would have been too many changes. There it were a lot good. of very dominant 2-0s. There were a couple game threes, though, that were very exciting. It but makes me wonder if you were to start, you know, every tournament from every Smash game from the history of time, run them all best of three and about the five, whether the rankings would be that much different, right? It's like, I feel it's a matter of consistency. You, you know the sets, you know that sometimes your bands are different. But in this case, you go to the tournaments, you adapt when you're there, and you play the best you can at your ability. In this game one right here, loses finals. Yo, whoa, whoa, I'm sorry, I got something in my throat, and that's a giant down air. Dude, that was so insane from Mars. Yeah, he's really idolized in the down B kick to get a lot of kills here. Very confident play with the grabs. Funny stat here is the fact that the person who sent Mars to losers is none other than an ally. So this is the rematch. It's, it is a rematch, actually pure, but a full stock lead. That, that was the quickest first stock I think we've seen all top 8-0. Mars, such an explosive opener, as we've seen time and time again, but Ally very, very cleverly staying just out of that range, that down smash. He dashed in with a grab, he doesn't even care. Like, I love the fact that Mars punishes any top player from dashing in or dashing out. He manages to meet them on their way with a grab or either with anything, probably a jab, but mostly a grab. Back oh my goodness, he grabbed the grenade in the process too. Mars, you are a nut. Yeah, Zero Suit is one of the characters that can jump the farthest. Kay. So Mars definitely put in that into effect. There's the up air that allies use time and time again. Yeah, I like quite the uh, the jumpy player with uh, with Snake. Snake not very much of a jumpy character, but Ally makes it work. I love that Mars uses that down air right after going beneath the platform. It delays him in the air a little bit, causing your opponent to let go of their shield a little too late. Mixes them up really bad. And right now, Mars, 0% two stock. This is looking all but over for this game one. Yeah, I mean, like, if you're playing zero suit and you're constantly just grabbing your opponent, so much so that you're getting textures into grab, this game is probably over. That is almost going to be the case here. Yeah, it was not, surprisingly, it wasn't a critical hit. Okay, goes for the heavy forward smash for you, because why not Ooh. hold on? Bazooka in your face. Equaling it out. Could you imagine Ally winning this after I, it seemed so hopeless? I mean, this is possible here. Oh my god, he's making a huge comeback here. Mars at 40%. Now he actually blocked the down and getting him to 60%. Now he actually is a kill percent. Forward smash could be the kill here. We might be able to see some sort of setup here. C4 will kill around 80, so this is actually oh. within the possibilities. He's doing this. Okay, cleverly stay on the ledge of one of the down smash. What's the answer? Dash attack back to center stage. He used, oh, the grab! He used neutral get up to power through the side B with the invincibility here, trying to dodge the oh. up air! And that was a very well-timed up air from Mars. Did not panic near the top. He knew that what but what goes up must get up air <laughs> eventually as it comes down. Yeah, it must come down to get up air. <laughs> <laughs> the story of Smash. Mars taking game one once again. He's he's on a tear all the way through losers. I feel like something definitely clicked with Ally towards the end of the game. He didn't seem frustrated after that game loss. He definitely understood at the end what he needs to do. He was using a lot of very specific things. Three things I really liked was the fact that he was using both get up attack and normal get up invincibility to get past Mars's less pressure. Then he was using a lot of dash attack to punish him at mid range. And then on top of that, he was using a lot of random mixes with blocking and grenades. So you kind of keep Mars in toes, but he's definitely getting used to at least the downers. Mars is going for these early grabs at low percents. He knows he can find a lot of small bread and butters off these. And given the pattern that he's seen, he's had a lot of success killing Ally off the top, but a lot of success in finding these down bees too. One really good thing for Mars is that if he does go for a grab into a fourth throw, it doesn't really kick the grenade, so then he can dodge the hitbox with a grab. Very important here. Some grabs do actually trigger the grenade explosion, so then that can hurt you. Love the Zerda up B. It's so reliable. One more of those should kill Ally. Throws a grenade to come down. Give him a little bit of breathing room. Every hit of Derek connects, but that Nair does not. Rolls away. Mars evading cleverly. That grenade actually saved Ally right there. That was a really interesting option, though, going for down air when you're getting ledge, uh, platform pressure here. Yeah. Not, not something that you see snake players do very often. Ally often thinks outside of the box. Okay, that down air did not work that time. So Ally adapted to that. Yeah, oh. like every down air was working last game right. until the very end, and now none of them are working. You that see, is complete player adaptation here. He said no more. Okay, 3D down air. I can't believe how many grabs Mars is landing. Going high for the up air. Oh, he just waited for it. Both players reacting at the exact same time. 
I can't believe Allied just sat there on the platform when he can die, and then he just up tilt, and then it worked out. A true madman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was pretty insane, actually. Whoa! <laughs> he went for the for the smash invitational up the for, for the kill. Why would you mention that zero? <laughs> why would you Why would you bring up that repressed memory of mine? <laughs> I, w I wish. Oh, never mind. Okay, <laughs> I gotta shake that one up. I can't believe right now the ally is actually finding, you know, a little bit of trouble getting through these grabs. I think he's gonna be staying grounded a little too often. Yeah, I feel like a big part that plays into Mars's neutral is that he likes to catch people as they're dashing in or dashing out. Yeah. Like that, the lag that people have when they dash is definitely something that I see him capitalize a lot in his gameplay. Up air, up air. Okay, grenade, of course, comes out frame one, getting him out of that combo. Is that going to kill? No, but that will. That was the weak hit of backer too. That's how strong it is. The sleeping bag, as they used to call it. Try to use a dare off there, and it's amazing how that up B gets, you know, you, you need to have a, a, a pretty girthy aerial to get Snake out of that up B. It's a pretty safe get out of jail free card. Grab Fourth read here. again. Yeah, he tried to time it with the explosion of the grenade, but Is barely that? missed. Okay. Oh, oh. my! Mars. <laughs> he tried. I, I, I would have learned something new today. If that was the case. Great. Dash attack here. Now nah, he waited. It looks like Mars ready for it anyway, going for that air dodge. There's a big difference from between the set that I watch of Mars and Ally back in winners. Right. Yeah, I felt like Ally was definitely just overwhelming Mars a lot more. Mars has much better follow up in the set. Feels a lot more threatening to get hit. He's also super warm right now though. You know he's been playing this is like his, his sixth opponent today, or his fifth opponent today, something like that. Or fourth, I'm sorry, I have to lose count. Yeah, he's been going through yeah. losers. He's played more sets to get here. Yeah. So maybe he has a a little bit of a higher warm-up. Here we go. Uh, Mars with a set lead, also a stock lead here. But with that grab, no punish from Ally, though. Oh, he's spot dodging all of his reads. Every time he goes for a grab. Oh, my goodness. They both jumped up, but Mars cleverly found that back air first. That down air, we saw time and time. Up tilt. Will it kill? Actually, one thing I really like that Ally is doing right now is that when he gets hit by one of the attacks, that uh, Mars is doing, for example, back here, he will actually DI down and slightly away, so that he doesn't quite get tech chase, but then he doesn't go on the platform, kind of like that middle sweet spot that he can land quicker. Right. That is really good knowledge of how you can use DI to not only just survive, but also avoid further hits from combat situations. I think Ally went, he went for dash tech there, might have gone for his side, so one more of those will likely kill him. It's a, oh. whoa! Oh. Okay, that was some, uh, <laughs> Some advanced robotics right there. <laughs> it definitely was. All right. Well, I mean, this is a situation. Some of his last game, Ally almost brought it back, too. We're seeing it here. C4 Al not landing yet. Ally definitely needs to bring this one back, though. He yeah, does not want to be down two games. And it's actually happening here. Oh! That is far enough damage. Far more than enough damage than I expected off that combo. No they double jump here. Oh, wait. Oh, oh shit. He got to test it. What's the answer? That was a lot going on. <laughs> okay, back here. Ally's got one more in him. The upper right here thrown into space. What is Ally going to do? Air dodges right into the ground. Oh, Mars what's the punish? The up tilt will do it, Zero. Ally evens out the set. He tried going for the side beat of catch Ally air dodging into the ground. But Ally was very wise. He air dodged in a way where he used most of the lag within the air dodge in the air and then landed with very little lag, being able to shield that side B. If Ally air dodged very late, he would have gotten hit by the side B, and then we will have Mars up two games. But now it is 1-1. These players fighting it up to see who can take down MK Leo in Grand Finals. It's amazing. One flick of the thumb could have had a much different result. But as, as always, if anyone's going to fight MK Leo in Grand Finals, it should be the better player. That's decided right now. 1-1 one, one across the board. Same characters running it right back. We're going to see right now if Mars can have an explosive opening like he did in game one, or if Ally will continue his patient reads, his patient comebacks, waiting for Mars to come towards him and letting the bombs and grenades do the work. The last hit of down and missing there, he needed that follow up. Now, Yoshi's is a stage that I feel like almost everyone hates. This It's all slants. The entire bottom is slants. That's what makes it unique. It's like, it's like Smashville, if Smashville you know, maybe he was really, really sleepy one day. <laughs> or maybe too many <laughs> drinks. So this is this is Smashville, um, like, 
but the problem is that the slants on the stage cause snakes, snakes grenades to bounce in, in various strange ways. Also, those slants make edge guards very, very different. Oh, Mars bait in here, waiting for Ally to air dodge or something. Gets the hit first hit of 40 here, fishing for the back here. Ally air dodge downwards. Well, three spot dodge is in neutral. Mars. Oh, um, the tech, he actually lives. And now for those of you watching home, those are not elite smash strategies. <laughs> this is indeed top level play, and that is high level conditioning. Yeah. We're waiting now to see how he enters. He holds the grenade in his hand and it blows up. Down throw. Dash attack, okay, not gonna kill, but still very important percent. Nikita, if he had read an up throw right there, I would have actually been so impressed. First hit up, oh! into the upper. Oh! The ally signature combo right there and there. He wasn't being able to uh, land it very much in tournament, but finds it right here. That's gotta be one of the coolest looking combos. That portal just sounds so meaty. Oh, oh gets the oh, down yeah. smash check to, into the up smash, confident kill. Tried and true. Now even percents again. Ally trying to use a grenade to open things up. Throwing it, tossing it high in the air. And there's that insurance. Even if it misses his own aerial, it still blows up uh, Mars again as we're seeing. He'll take all those little hits percent whenever he can take it. Mars getting the double grab here. Ally decided to oh. go all the way to the middle platform here. Drops down, leaves a grenade on the platform, covers oh. himself. Great timing from Ally to use that down air off the up B very, very early. Gets that a grab. That jab is extremely quick. Even though Ally was jabbing, it managed to ca uh, catch him between the jabs. No double jump right here. Ooh, the air drops to the left. Very tricky. Mars couldn't follow it up. I think he meant the uh, sure hop because he ended up full hopping. Oh, no. He well, had no flip there and no double jump. So Ally. That now. is really big getting that early of a kill. You don't really see Zeroes not making it back to the stage very often. All right, well, it's looking like this is the first time I feel like Ali's had a lead in any game this set so far. It's either a comeback or he's getting, you know, he's down. But now that he's up, I wonder how he's going to play this. Ally is very good at holding the lead. So I think this is this should be a very good game here. He's using oh! the C4 to recover here. Barely <laughs> makes it back up ease to get some height. Puts the C4 down in the middle of the stage. He can no longer use it off the level now. Yeah. Oh! oh, no, Mars. That was a bona fide SD. There was no, there's no way else to look at it. That was the worst mistake you could make at that point. Yeah, that 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 was a hundred percent a mistake. There was no reason to down it off the level. It, or down it anywhere. Yeah, yeah Ally, Ally wasn't close at any point in time. I'm pretty sure Mars is intended to do maybe do like a retreating back or something like that. Maybe the C stick just failed him there. But that is. That is a hard break in there. Like yeah. that, that can really affect the player's confidence but level. We see, we see the crowd cheering yeah. for Mars. They wanted to get his head back into the game. This is definitely crunch time for he, uh, for Mars here. He, he was winning the set pretty confidently at some point, and he's placed up relies on confidence here. And I see. We're gonna wonder now if the crowd cheering, maybe the almost 45,000 viewers home at Twitch watching, if Mars can contain his composure and bring it back for a chance to play MK Leo. Or if Ally is going to get the run back he so desperately wants. Yeah, we will see if this affects his gameplay or not. It's very easy to get down after a big mistake like that, but it's important if you're a top player to kind of just get past it. And Mars will be the kind of person to do that. Okay, good. Whoa! Oh my. Zero, if he had gotten a spike off of that, I would have changed my name to Elliot. Like, that would have been <laughs> ridiculous. At this point in time, Mars quickly a kill percentage here. Looking for the backer here, barely misses it. Great parry dash attack. It's so reliable. He's going for that single hit in air, up tilt again. Yeah, he is. He is actually fishing for that. Oh, going Ooh. for the wave land right here. Okay. We've seen some, some melee attacks here. Shout out to melee. How did he live from that, Mars? Amazing DI here. Oh, he tried to activate the C4 in case Mars got impatient and tried to approach right away. Gets the tricky back here right here. Goes for the flip. Are we going to see a juggle off this position? Ally up being here to trick the timing of his landing. We might see it. He goes really far. Ally still finding his way back to the stage. But up air, the same way we saw game two finish. That is amazing. Right after that big SD, Mars keeping his composure here. Bringing it back in this game four. We're waiting a down throw. What's the option going to be? Oh, back throw rather. Nikita. Oh! I thought he was going to read him after uh, Mars tried to flip it back onto the stage. Dash attack will do the kill though. Two stuck a piece now. That was so good though. Mars actually pulled back from the ledge, waited for the C4 to explode, and then jumped back. But then Alec covered that up too. So that was a double nice play from both. 
It's so intimidating seeing that down B coming at you when you're Snake. You need to air dodge. You need to make an option. At this point, Ally has no shield. Mars is likely to pressure in this scenario. Fishing for the high back here, but Ally very wise and going for a low recovery here. Gets the parry into the four tilt. Easy percent right there for Ally. He's trying to see where Mars is going to come down with an air dodge and successfully found it. Practically even percents here. Oh, but Mars gets the first grab. Misses the back air, gets the second one. He's looking for those back airs here. Ally recovery in an awkward angle here. Mana is not even air dodge. Like, Ally wasn't even afraid. He didn't air dodge or swing. He just, no. just dropped by. I think it's because he knew Mars was waiting for that air dodge. Ooh. Okay, sliding off and with a grenade and C4 on the corner of that edge. He goes just out of reach from Mars once again. Ally with the very clutch recoveries. Instead of pulling into the stage with that up B, he kind of just went straight up. Man. Ma making it hard for Mars to punish up for that. And get and then gets the up till this kill. Is, this is a set point for Ally right here. He it is. Take one more clean stock. Now, Crap. who do we want to see in Grand Finals? Do we want to see Ally or do we want to see Mars? All right, great pivot forward till hit, hit by hit. Okay, Mars found the kill. It is last stock on this very important game four. Will Mars' historic loser's run end here? Or are we going to see the game five of the century? It is crunch time, and he goes for the down and makes him here. Ally not even there. Gets the neutral there, misses the follow up. However, Mars getting a little bit of pressure here in the center of the stage. No shield here. Ally chasing him up in the air at this point. Oh, he got a third of the jab. Otherwise, we're going to punish a grab into the up tilt. Mars living barely somehow. Oh, wait, wait the upper string. Oh, 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 oh. oh, my goodness. They're trading in the air. The grenade's getting involved. Ally, uh, Ally at this point just needs the a, a back air, maybe a neutral air. Okay. Definitely an up tilt. Right. Oh, any big, any big move right here. A back air and up tilt. Oh, he avoids Nikita. That would have been certain death. 73 for Ally. Oh, the stunner grenade in the hand. Oh, throwing the grenade down to cover Ally from moving forward. Oh, this is really tense. Ally looking for that dash attack right here to seal up the stock. Oh, Mars. he whips it near. Oh, oh that oh, might be it. That's it. Game oh! five. We have game five zero. What a clutch comeback from Mars. Incredible. He is in orbit. That was God tier play. Getting the crowd completely heated up. We're going into this oh. game five. My goodness, this feels like grand finals to me. Yeah, this is this has been the set of the top eight, I will say, for sure. This is the all or nothing right here. Where is Ally gonna take this? Superheated Mars, what is the best option at this point? This far into the bracket, all the cards on the table. Where are we going? I'm not sure. I feel like we're definitely not going back to Yoshi, he's telling you that much. I'm seeing Battlefield. Battlefield. That's a great stage to get easy chains on the up there on up airs, but at the same time, Snake, hold on. While well, we're looking at the music options here, all right? We're waiting here one more time. Now, who do we want? to fight MK Leo in Grand Finals. Do we want Mars? Or do we want Ally? Well, I have a headset on, so I can't really hear the cheer. <laughs> I'm gonna assume one of them was louder. Yeah, one of them was louder, and we will assume. Press one for Ally, two for Mars. You know what to do. Game five, all or nothing. Here we go. Now, there's lots of adaptations going into this game. Mars mixing in, downers in and out. Ally looking for these spot dodges. And both players just kind of just doing their best here. They both want to win the tournament here. Two just insta trades. All right, that side B has so much stun on shield that Mars has enough time to just get out of a precarious situation. Oh, whiffing that grab barely. Yeah, that wasn't a true combo. I guess he was expecting Ally to go for a block. The Nair to come out off a platform. Such a move that demands respect from any player. I like looking for the uh, the tech roll away, but then Mars decided to tech roll behind him. Right, Mars taking his yeah, time here. Patient very, play. Yeah, very much patient play. This is, this is a game five scenario. Okay, another attempt at Zaring. He's just waiting, and Ally throwing the raw grenade at him. Not going to do too much percent. Mars once again catching Ally with that dash grab. Okay, good grab there. Ally, and this could be the first stock. Mars is on a run. 
Mars is just getting that tech roll uh, reads off and point. Like, every time that Allied techs in or techs away, he finds some ways to get down smashes. And that's how he's been winning these games off of tech chasing. And he's only at 82. I mean, technically a few more hits away from death, but still could get a good chain started. Crowd coming live from Mars. Okay, another stunner into a Zare, but only 30%. Needs to watch out for this up tilt, which will happen. Hold on. We're going deep. Ally struggling to line at this point. Trying to find himself back on the ground. Goes for the empty hop, landed into the up tilt. Cannot quite find it. Mars playing off of shield really well at this point. Probably looking for a down smash or a Texas scenario here. Goes for the Zare to set it up. He's just staying in the middle of the stage, Zero. Throwing any long range move at Ally. Forcing him to approach. Nikita won't do it. Ally hitting that light, tiny hit of that dash attack last second. Ally Tekken in place. He does not want to get down smash. Oh my goodness. Right out of range of that down smash. Hold. He's going. That hasn't worked yet, but still is very intimidating. <laughs> that I can't deny. Yeah, he was going for up smash there, waiting for Ally to either drop down to the center stage or drop from the platform. Even percent for these two players, but there's a giant raging stock difference between Ally and Mars right now. One that cannot be ignored. Ally needs to make something happen. There's no punish on a very whiffed grab. He reacted a little bit too slow. Very crucial kill there. How is Ally going to take that Mars stock? Mars commits with a grab at that high percentage. Mars takes the risk. No problem. Okay. Nair onto the shield. Ally gonna go high once again. The clever air dodge fast fall to go down low. He's not making this easy for Mars. He says, if you're gonna kill me, you gotta make sure you get it off your own read. He's waiting, which is okay. Yeah, he just went for DLB. He does yeah. not care. 3% punish, though. That's the unfortunate part. Goes for the miss punish. They're going for fourth. They're probably meant to do up tilt. Yeah, Ally knows Mars is scared. He knows how deadly it can be if you do one wrong move in Snake's face. Yeah, and I just want to point out that there's about three minutes and a half yeah, left, been... on, left on the clock. This has been the campiest game that we've seen between these two. The longest game by far. And you, you can't blame them here. Absolutely not. I mean, if it comes down to it, <laughs> Game 5 CEO, last game of the season for the PGR, you absolutely oh. want to take your time. All right, Ally has not gotten hit in about uh, uh, 60 seconds, it feels like. And all of a sudden, slowly, bit by bit, Mars is now at mid percent. Hold on. Yeah, Ally absolutely taking his time here with the line. And air dodging through the down smash here. Crossing up Mars is such an important part of the game. Oh, he grabs his own grenade. 92 now. Snake full rage. This is up till kill, I'm pretty sure. And Ooh. that's the fear that he needs. Mars at set point. Perks head off forward into back here. Mars improvising the script as we go. Waiting one more second. Can you get any extra credit? Or is Ally going to say, let's dance and make this a pure last stop, 0% situation? A little bit of hits there. Oh, the parry, but misses the up tilt. Ally absolutely fishing for up tilt right here. He's waiting for Mars to jump into anything that he can do. Oh. At, this, at this point, he's just going off of any tech chase that he can. Going for forward to try to knock Ally down into the ground. He's saying, I'm going to pick up my own grenades, throw them back, try to get some opening started here. I don't think the last thing Ally wants here is a trade. There's the blaster and a nair. 74 so far for Ally. And right now Mars is not stopping. 93. No double jump right here. Tried to catch the jump with that full hub back here. Not quite. Ally rolling back at the stage. Good. Back here barely hitting. Nikita. Oh, he missed. Oh. Uh, he was trying to stick in with the grenade with the C4. That's definitely what it looked like. Okay, it's parry, but that's the thing. Zerosu has such air mobility. Gets out of jail. Oh, the grenade actually messed up his own parry combo. It did. That is very unfortunate. He might have been able to go for a kill option there. One minute 40 left on the clock. Yeah, they're not doing this. And all Mars, beautiful DI there. Still living somehow. But that will do it. Ladies and gentlemen, last stock, game five. The greatest story ever told. Mars at zero. We've Ooh. seen Ally almost win this last time. Could you imagine the comeback here? There's a minute and a half left on the clock. Important to note, Ally at kill percent. Oh. Mars fishing for these kill options. Oh, if I saw a forward smash there, I was going to lose it. Mars might be playing for the timeout here. There, there is almost oh. less than a minute left. Oh, oh just so close. But still 100% lead right now for Mars. 
Not quite upper kill percentage yet, unless he catches him really high up. This is it, the up throw. Uh oh, he's no looking for that up throw, up throw kill here. No pummel though. Oh, the up air. Not quite. The next upper might be able to do it he's here. He's waiting. The air dodge just out of reach. Ally, you mad Up man. throw. Fourth throw. Goes for the fourth throw. The D fell the up throw oh here. Oh my lord, he actually avoided that downer. This is the grab. Up throw. This could be it. Amazing the eye. 198. 40 seconds left on the clock. 40 seconds. No, no way. This might be it. There's 37 seconds left on the clock. Ally at 200%. I have never seen someone pull this off. Not against Ally Snake. Mars sticking to the middle e of the platform, jumps out with the backer and the gets the win! The pop-up on the stage, Mars is out here, screaming to the crowd! What a run for this player! Set of the tournament. Set of the month, maybe the year. Incredible play. Mars has his chance now. His chance to secure history before this ranking season is over.